Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm gonna say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Donai, the new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us and grossed us with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, the new sing the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, your offspring, and your people, our houses, and may we all together know your name and study your Torah for us and fulfill your desire. Blessed you, Adonai, the new <coughs> king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May do not bless you and keep watch over you. May do not make his presence who you may be kind to you. May do not bless you favor on you and grant you peace. Uh, today's read is is Amos nine seven through fifteen, Isaiah twenty nine one through twenty four, Matthew nineteen sixteen through thirty. Here we go. Are you not like the Cushites to me? O people of Israel, declares Yahweh, did I not bring you up from the land of Egypt and the Philistine <coughs> Philistines from Kaftor and the Syrians from Kir? Behold, the eyes of the Lord Elohim are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the surface of the ground, except that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, declares Yahweh. For behold, I will command to, and shake the house of Israel among all nations, as one shakes with a sieve but a pebble shall fall but no pebble shall fall to the earth all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword who says disaster shall not overtake or meet us and that day I'll raise up the booth of David that has fallen and repair its breaches and raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and all the nations who are called by my name, declares Yahweh, who does this. Behold, the days are coming, declares Yahweh, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes who sows the seed, the mountains shall drip with sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel, and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine, and they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant them on their land, and they shall never again be unprooted, uprooted out of the land that I give them, says Yahweh, your Elohim. Come on, mouse. There you go. Isaiah 29, 1 through 24. Ah, Ariel, ah, Ariel, the city where David encamped, add year to year, let the feasts run their round. Yet I will distress Ariel, and there shall be moaning and lamentation, and she shall be like an, and she shall be to me like an Ariel, and I will encamp against you all around, and I will besiege you with powers, and I will raise siege works against you, and you will be brought low from the earth, for yeah, from the earth you shall speak, and from your, from the dust your speech will be bowed down. Your voice shall come from the ground like the voice of a ghost, and from the dust of your speech shall whisper. But the multitude of your foreign foes shall be like small dust, and the multitude of the ruthless like passing chaff. And in an instant, suddenly, you will be visited by Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, the whirlwind of the tempest and the flame of the devouring fire, and a multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, all that fight against her and her stronghold and her, <coughs> and her stronghold and distresser. She shall be shall be like a dream, a vision in the night, as when a hungry man dreams, and behold, he is eating and awakes with his hunger not satisfied, or when a thirsty man dreams, and behold, he is drinking and awakes faint, with his thirst not quenched, so shall the multitude of nations be that fight against Mount Zion. Astonish yourselves, and be astonished. Blind yourselves, and be blind. Be drunk, but not with wine. Stagger, but not with strong drink. For Yahweh has poured 
out upon you a spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, the prophets, and covered your heads, the seers. And the visions of all that has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed. When men give it to one who can read, saying, Read this, he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And when they give the book to one who cannot read, saying, Read this, he says, I cannot read. And the Lord said, Because of this, people draw near with their mouths, and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by men. Therefore, behold, I will again do wonderful things with this people, with wonder upon wonder. And the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the discernment of their discerning men shall be hidden. Ah, you who hide deep from Yahweh your counsel, whose deeds are in the dark, and who say, who sees us? Who knows? You turn things upside down. Shall the potter be regarded as the clay? That the thing should be made, that the thing made should say of its maker, He did not make me. Or the thing formed say of him who formed it, He has no understanding. It is not yet a very little while until Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be regarded as a forest, and in that day the death shall hear in the, wor the words of a book, and out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see, the meek shall obtain fresh joy t in Yahweh, and the poor among mankind shall exult in the Holy One of Israel, for the ruthless shall come to nothing, and the scoffer cease, and all who watch to do evil shall be cut off. Who by a word make a man out to be an offender, and lay a sneer for him who reproves in who reproves in the gate, and with an empty plea turn aside him who is in the right. Therefore thus says Yahweh, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall no more be ashamed, no more shall his face grow pale. For when he sees his children, the works of my hands in his midst, they will sanctify my name. They will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, and will stand in awe of the El Elohim of Israel. And those who go astray in spirit will come to understanding. Those who murmur will accept instruction. That was Isaiah. Matthew. Matthew nineteen sixteen through 30. And behold, a man came up to him, saying, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. And if you would enter life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? And Yahweh said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your mother and father, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these I have kept. What do I still lack? Yeshua said to them, If you would be perfect, go. Sell what you possess and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Yeshua said to his disciples, Truly I say to you, Only with difficulty will a rich person enter the kingdom of heaven. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. When her disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yeshua looked at them and said, With man this is impossible. With the Elohim all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, See, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Yeshua said to them, Truly I say to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you will have the, f you will have, you who have followed me, will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father, or mother or children or lands for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, in the last first. Blessed art thou, Donna, and you king of the universe, who sanctified. <sighs> Sorry. 
Blessed are the two, you who don't have the heat, king of the universe, who gave us the door of truth instead of lasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, <coughs> Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bruka ta Adonai, and Hu Malach Halom, Meshe Natan Lenu, Tredi Met Vaishalom, Natabeti Kinu Bruka ta Adonai, Natin Hatra. Hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.